Hi, Jim and I. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Uh, hope you're doing well today. This is just going to be a little reading uh, for the end of November. So from Thanksgiving today, uh, November 24th through November 30th. And I'll try to do a bigger spread next month, but I don't know. I'm just still crunched on time. Still got a lot going on. Um, but anyway, we'll get with your reading right now. I got the six of, six of sword or six of wands. I'm sorry, six of wands on the bottom of the deck. And um, I don't know. We should look up six of swords because I've thought this twice. Which is weird, but I am tired, so um, I'm trying to think of what Six of Swords is. Well, anyway, um, so the number six might mean something to you, but you're looking high and mighty there, looking really good. Um, it looks like celebration, honors, achievements, uh, like being praised for a good job, um, looked up to. Uh, looks like su success for sure. Um, awards, uh, crowds of people. So, well, of course, this is Thanksgiving, so you might have a big family and be around a lot of people today. Um, but you do have people supporting you and who care about you. And you have growth on these wands, so that's amazing. And you have the little wreath up here. So it's almost like a jewel and a crown, you know? That's how I see that. I mean, you're really, uh, like you've just won a race or something or won the Olympics or, or something like that. That's the feeling I get. Um, a lot of accolades, you know, just everything is really great. And you're the only one riding on the horse, so... You're like the top dog right now, either in your business or your home life, or uh, you're the one everyone looks up to and counts on and depends on, you know. So that's wonderful. This is also a card of Leo. So you may have, you ha may have Leo in your chart or a loved one might be a Leo. And then I got the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. That's my puppy. No, be good. Be good one day. Okay, so I see this is sitting pretty as well. and But I also see it as cutting out the BS, right? Um, intellectual, fair, right decisions, judgment, um, like getting clarity on your wants and your needs in your life. I see this person as being very smart, having integrity, and um, it's a card of Aquarius. So you might have Aquarius, uh, a loved one is Aquarius, or a close co-worker is Aquarius, or something like that. It's also uh, the planet Uranus, which means rebellion and revolution. So you might be a little bit rebelling against something or the way things are done. Um, um, clearing the air. I see this big sword is like, you know, clearing the air. So there might be a little bit of a drama or something going on at work or at home. Um, but I also see this as accolades. And uh, it's the third eye chakra. And you have butterflies, and I see that as transformation. And an angel may be watching over you. There's a a bird in the sky so that bird might be watching over you you know it might be like a pass on loved one or something so you might want to pay attention to feathers on the ground 
but I see things are cloudy, but the clouds are clearing and you even have a cl clouds on your cloak here. But I feel like the clouds are clearing, the sky is turning blue, and so you'll decide on what is the best, uh, best way to take action on a situation, you know? But right now, I mean, today is Thanksgiving, so I would just think about it. Just think about it. You don't have to do anything today. Just think about it. And, um, and then just make the best and most right decision you can for you and everyone else around you. And then I pulled a love tarot, and it says obsessed. Obsessed. I'll read it to you. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials and hope I run into you when I'm out. Hmm. So, it might be have to do with somebody who lives in the same town, right? Or the same uh, kind of close proximity to where you live. Uh, same little city or something. But obsessed I think I'm obsessed with you so this could be you're obsessed with someone else or they're obsessed with you I think about you all the time stock your socials and hope I can run into you when I'm out hmm so it could have been about a breakup or maybe it's not about a breakup maybe it's just about uh like have an infatuation or a crush on someone, you know, and uh, they're either obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. Hmm. So maybe this is where you need to get the clarity on your wants and needs. Especially if you're like married and you're thinking about having an affair or something like that. I mean, I wouldn't risk your marriage for an affair because they don't usually last. I mean, sometimes they do. A person will get divorced and marry the, the mistress and, you know, they live happily ever after. But I think that's uh, far and few between. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I'm getting because this is just kind of odd. I mean, on one hand, you're getting praise and achievements and everything. And then on the other hand, you're needing to make right decisions. And then this obsessed card. Mm, that reminds me of the president, you know? Seems like all of our presidents, they'll get praise and accolades and everything. And then they must make the right decisions. And then they get obsessed with a, a mistress. That's what it reminds me of. But anyway, you can let me know in the comments if that makes any sense um, or not. But it's just kind of an odd reading. I've never had one quite like this. But anyway... Uh, I hope you and your family have a great Thanksgiving, and if you care to share, put it in the comments. I'd love to know what's going on with this one. This, this is a little crazy. Okay, guys, have a good one, and I hope to see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.